Welcome to the kingdom. And one of the things that that uh, I want to talk to you about, because again, your generation, you know, what I mean, the millennials, you know, I mean, like a lot of guys were big on the, the flashiness and the ice. Oh yeah, and, you know, no, and, I, and you I was see. consumed by that myself at one point in yeah, time. Yeah, I'm but, not but, but, but but it's still there. It's mm -hmm. a tim, and that's a temptation in the sense of it's still a temptation to fit in. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You want to fit in. You want to be accepted and all that. Speak. speak and and since you brought that up, yes, please do, because. I know from experience when it comes to that, what all it is is we wanna we wanna impress the next person. Mm -hmm. We wanna impress them and say, I got I got it going on too. Mm. And it's like, okay, cool, cool. We see John Doe here. He has on, you know, the, the chains, big the ball. watches, the, you know, everything going on. Yeah. And we know, okay, in order for me to get the attention that he gets, I have to be like that. I have to compete with that. I have to emulate that because we see the the response that it gets and we like, well, I want that too. Right. I want I want to be able to experience that too. But in reality, we don't what we don't understand is there's a, there's the loneliness. Yeah. That comes with that because yeah. you can't trust nobody. You're not sure who's after That's what. True. That's true. So now you gotta deal with the loneliness. Then you got to deal with the form of depression because it's just like, okay, cool. If I don't keep this up, then everybody's going to think I fell off. Mm -hmm. And when people think you fell off, it, it's the worst thing could have happened. Yeah. It, and, and you could just be like, no, I just matured and grew out of that. Yeah. And then, no, 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 you just right. fell off. And it's right. just like, so you got to keep this going. And this, you're in this revolving door in a sense, you know, it's just yeah. going around and around. And it's like, you can never get out of it. Yeah, you know, and so the next person goes, and then the, the person underneath you, they come up, and then they take a spot, and then nobody knows you no more. So you went through all of this, you had your little highlight moment, and then always know that somebody that's going to come and replace you. Right, 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 and, right, right. You know, now let me just say this, and this is it's a little bit off the beaten path, but because there's a growing concern for our young black men, especially mm -hmm. in the rap game. Oh, yes. And the number of them that's being killed and, and all that. And, and, and the thing is, there's young African-American boys and young men, period. Because mm -hmm. what, I, what, what I've also discovered, and I think, I, I think you can help me with this, is you got other races that like rap more than black people like yes, rap. absolutely. And, and they try to emulate this life that they see these guys betraying on TV, man. Mm -hmm. And from uh, and and in the videos and the, and they got the women and they got the ice and they got the cars and they got you know what I mean mm -hmm. and it's a temptation to believe that's what success looks like you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying and if I oh, don't definitely. have it going on like this I don't have it going on you're not on. doing nothing yeah <laughs> right you know so I, I I feel sorry for a lot of people and I keep them in prayer because it's just like even when you do put that out there's two things you have to deal with you have to deal with people who want to be like you. But you got to deal with the haters. Mm. And unfortunately, the haters are at an all-time high because anybody who's turned on the TV see it seems like there's a young black brother just falling off just like that out of nowhere, just getting gunned down mm. over nothing. Yeah. Over, over 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 material things that it's like you can't even do much with. Right. You can't do much with it. Right. You know, and it's like that's why I, I try to explain to them, don't get caught up in that because that makes you a target. Yeah. But people are so desiring to be somebody that they're not that even with the risk that come with it, they'll still take it. Wow. And it's like you you know what's coming with that and wow. you will still take that chance, you'll still take that wow. risk all just so you can have a moment. Right. That's the part, the, the sad part. A moment. Cause that cause that success in the world is not yeah. long lasting. At you all. You know what I mean? They they come and go. They come At and all. go. They, they, there's a young so and so, the new young so and so, mm -hmm. the other young so and so. I guess mm -hmm. he old now, <laughs> so they yeah. done moved on from him, though. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But just to see that, and if I can just say this in this month of Black History, I don't know exactly when the podcast is show, but when February, with the end of February, and in this month of Black History, my concern as an older Black man now is, and I understand that the people be concerned about police, and you know, you got some of that going on, but my concern is the black on black crime. Now we kingdom people, you know what I'm saying to you, but yeah. if, if I just want to speak for a moment to our culture, especially mm -hmm. to the young black men, because uh, here's what happened. You know, I go to the YMCA and I exercise and long story short, 
two young uh, black brothers got in a serious fight mm. right after I left out. Mm. And you know, the brother, the one brother that was wearing dreads, he from Chicago, mm -hmm. and the guy that he got in the fight with uh, is from New Orleans. You know mm. what I mean? So they're on the court, right? And the guy from Chicago start threatening the guy with from uh, the guy from Chicago start telling the guy from New Orleans, you know, I give you some of these hot bullets. Mm -hmm. You know, I get some of these hot bullets flowing. And from what I told, that's when it went through the roof. Mm -hmm. And this guy beat this guy up so bad to even literally pull some of his locks out. You know what I mean? My point is, and people ought to be upset any time that innocent lives are taken. I'm saying if it's by cops and, and, and I'm not, one of those that yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Like attacking the badge and all that kind of stuff because I wore the uniform for nearly 13 years. But here's the thing I want to say. I'm concerned about the black on black. We don't, when we're going to be, you know, just as upset so, about that as we are about anything else. So to me, from my, from, from my perspective, from my generation, I think nowadays it's all about fear. We resort to violence of that magnitude out of fear. Mm hmm and when I say out of fear, I mean nobody wants to lose. Like, doing this, nobody wants to lose. Nobody wants to deal with the embarrassment because, see, here's the thing. There's always going to be somebody, Feminine, and yeah. then you're going to go viral. Right. Now you have to sit there and deal with millions of people, you know, especially with so many different platforms that actually exploit these type of things. Mm. Nobody wants to go viral and from that standpoint. Yeah. So a lot of people are like, okay, cool, if I don't, if I'm not sure if I can beat you, that's what I'm going to resort to. And with guns being available at an all-time high right now, yeah. where and especially with all the laws where you don't even need a license or training. Yeah, here in Texas, you don't need a license. And, and yeah. so it's so easy. And then we have people who can manufacture them from home. Yeah, yeah. You know, we call them ghosts. Yeah, right. you know, right. Glock, ghost you know, yeah, yeah ghost Glock guns. 19s, you know. So, yeah, yeah you yeah. You can literally just manufacture one, you know, 3D print it. Mm -hmm. And then there's so many sites available where you can buy all the other little components that you need to, you know, have a fire and stuff. So, and we have a lot of our rappers advertising them in their videos. We have a lot of them advertising it in their music. So because of who these people idolize, that's who they're following footsteps. Mm -hmm. So they're like, okay, well, my favorite rapper says if he has an issue, that's how he, you know, that's how he, he handled it. 